welcome back to the WCG for this evening session on the second day of the third and deciding test match. Rob Elbasher will resume four not out for Brennan's 11 in their second innings, having negotiated two tricky overs before the tee break. Can Brennan's 11 push that lead even further, or can Matt's 11 peg them back? Rob Elbasher, the man at the crease for Brennan's 11, opening up again. Four not out, and we'll be looking to push this Brennan's 11's lead further in this evening session. It'll be Pat McGregor to get us underway in this final session, and Rob Elbasher just plays it back to him down the pitch. Nicely timed, and away it goes down the hill towards the southern stand, and that's just a gentle push. Crowd loving it. Goes hard at it and finds the gap and the boundary. Takes up the challenge. El Basho started the session in typically aggressive fashion as McGregor will bowl to him again and he's just a dead bat. Just plays that to White on the offside. Brennan's 11 north for 13 now. An overall lead of 20. This is the solid start they wanted to their innings after Jack Sullivan pegged the lead back to seven runs. As Pat McGregor bowls again to Rob Elbasha, and it beats him outside the off stump to end the over. Not for 13. It'll be the skipper Michael Johnson now to bowl to Rob Elbasha. He's in now. He floats one up and it's been hammered to the boundary. Oh, he tried something different there, Johnson, and it did not come off. And Rob Elbasha says, thank you very much. Michael Johnson to continue to Rob Elbasha. In now to full delivery. He's played on the leg side towards the boundary. Oh, he's going to go for a single. Oh, and he won a hurry. Matt White was on it like a flash. And if this throw was on target, he was in trouble. It was well wide in the end. Not for 18, Brennan's 11. As Pasterfield will bowl to Rob Elbasha. And he's forward and just plays that back down the pitch. An overall lead of 25 now, Brennan's 11. This is a brilliant start from Rob Elbasha. Will be looking to continue and build this lead for Brennan's 11. As Pasterfield bowls again. Oh, he hasn't played a shot. And he's been given. He's been given out LBW, Rob Elbasha. And he clearly doesn't like the decision. Showing the umpire where he was hit. He thinks this is high. Here's, we have a look. Oh, you know what? I think he's got a point. The line's good, but the height might be the issue here. Yeah, this probably won't be the best angle. Oh, it does look high. I think he can count himself unlucky there, Robert Basher. Nathan Hancock is the new man to the crease for Brennan's 11. With his side one for 18 in this second innings. An overall lead of 25. Can the youngster build on that and make a big score? So we mark Pasterfield to bowl to Nathan Hancock for his first delivery. In now to full delivery. He's played back down the pitch. Oh, and it's ricocheted off Mark Pasterfield. And it's gone for a boundary. Nathan Hancock is off the mark. Fortuitously. Brennan's 11 lead by 29 now as Pasterfield will bowl to Nathan Hancock again. He's forward on, he's bowled him. He's gone right through Nathan Hancock. And that's the second wicket down for Brennan's 11. Nathan Hancock goes cheaply again. Brennan's 11 are two for 22. Mark Pasterfield strikes twice in three deliveries. And that brings Gavin Merrifield to the crease. Brennan's 11, two for 22. So that was the end of the over, so it'll be Hamid El Basha to bowl now to Merrifield. He's in now, it's a full toss and it's just played back down towards Matt White. Brennan's 11 were moving along swimmingly with Robo Basher at the crease. He was unluckily given out LB. They're just starting to stutter now as Hamid El Basha bowls again to Merrifield. He just plays it down the pitch again. Merrifield short of a score of late. Since his brilliant innings in the opening innings of the opening test match, it's been lean pickings ever since. So Basha bowls to him again. Oh, he's dropped it. Merrifield has hit this straight back to Hamid El Basha, and he's dropped an absolute sitter. Oh, will that cost him? Jack Sullivan now to bowl to Gavin Merrifield. Full toss. Oh, he's hit it over the fence. That's the third wicket down for Brennan's 11. That drop catch from Hamid doesn't prove too costly. And Brennan's 11 are in early trouble in this second innings. 3 for 23, Brennan's 11, an overall lead of 30. They're stuttering a bit here in this final session of day two. 
as Josh Bolling walks to the crease. So Sullivan to bowl to Bolling for his first delivery. In now, it's short outside off stump. And Bolling leaves it alone. Sullivan to continue to Bolling. It's a full delivery. Oh, it's been smacked down the ground for six. Way to start your innings there from Bolling. He's in an aggressive frame of mind. That's a brilliant shot. What a stroke that is. Whoa, there's a touch of magic in that. Well, that's a good stroke. It just works it. It's bread and butter for him. You get on his toes, on his pads. Brilliant from Josh Bolling. He's moved on to 14. Here is Matt White. will bowl to him now. Oh, and he's through the shot too early. And it's hit him on his back leg. Brennan's 11 are 3 for 37 in this second innings. It's an overall lead of 44. Matt's 11 have never chased a target over 50 to win a test match. Their last two digs of 97 and 83 will give them some confidence. As White bowls now to Bolling. Oh, and it's hit him. Oh, it's hit him where you don't want to be hit, and he has gone down like a sack of spuds. He's in some strife here, Bolling. It's another quick delivery from White. Oh, and that is no laughing matter. Edge and gone. Solid at first slip, Cook. The captain comes into play. Brilliant with his tactics, and now he snares a catch. The first... Mark Pasterfield picks up his third wicket for the innings, removing Josh Bolling for 17. And that brings the first innings hero, George Pineros, to the crease. His side 4 for 41 with an overall lead of 48. So Pasterfield trying to get a fourth wicket here as he bowls to George Pineros. It's a full delivery, it's a good delivery, and George Pineros leaves it alone. Brennan's 11 have struggled with the bat in the second innings throughout the series. Scores of 56 and 4 for 24. They're struggling again here at 4 for 41. As Pasterfield bowls again, it's a full toss and it's played towards the middle basher with Fields. Brennan's 11 have been allowed to falter in the second innings though by posting solid first inning scores, thanks largely to this man at the crease, George Pineros. As Pasterfield bowls again to him, it's a full delivery. Oh, and it's an inside edge. And Pat McGregor was there waiting for the run out. It's a good delivery. It's come back off the fence with McGregor on the prowl. Michael Johnson, the skipper, now to bowl to Paneros. It's a full toss and it's played to Daniel Hancock on the offside. 4 for 41, Brennan's 11 with a lead of 48, with Paneros yet to get off the mark. Here is Johnson, will bowl again. It's a good delivery. Oh, is that a quarter glove? There's an appeal. It's been given. That's the fifth wicket down for Brennan's 11, and the first innings hero, George Paneros, is out for a duck. It's a good delivery and it's just clipped the hand of George Pineros, who's got to go. Brennan's 11 are dropping like flies here in the second innings of this test match. Troy Hayden walks to the crease with his side 5 for 41, with a lead of just 48 runs. The match 11's fans are up in voice here. They sense a big opportunity with just two wickets left in the sheds. So it'll be Johnson now to bowl to Hayden. It's a full delivery and it's left well outside the off stump. Matt's 11 are well on top. Johnson will continue to Hayden. It's a full delivery. It's driven back down the ground. Oh, it's misfielded by Johnson. And that trickles into the fence for a much needed boundary for Brendan's 11. Hayden's off the mark, and Johnson would have wanted to stop that one. This will be the last over of the second day's play. Middle basher to bowl it as Brendan's 11's lead has ticked over the 50 mark. Oh, but they've got another one here. Matt's 11. Troy Hayden is gone for four. He's caught behind and they've lost six now. It's six for 45. Brennan's 11 have crumbled in this final session, losing six wickets. As their skipper, Brendan Scott, walks to the crease in the final over of the day. Last man in. So a middle basher to bowl to Brendan Scott for his first delivery. In now to full delivery. Oh, and it's just missed the auto wiki. And he's going to scamper through for a single. Oh, and I'm not sure that his bat was grounded past the line here when the ball went past him. I think it gets stuck in the turf. As we have a look, yeah, it did. 
It's all happening here. Oh, shot. He's only expecting short stuff. He loved it that he could stay outside the line of the ball and... That's through. Hasn't missed out there, Steve Smith. That'll be a boundary. Breaks the shackles a bit. Never mind it being the last over of the day. Scott has raced out of the blocks. As Hamida Bash will bowl against a full toss. Oh, and this one's been pumped down the ground as well. It's another boundary. Scott moves to 13. Brennan's 11, 6 for 58. What a final over this has been. 1 for 13. As we get to the last ball of the day. It's El Basha to Scott. It's a wide delivery. He's necked it. Can you believe it? He's chased it on the last ball of the day. And Brennan's 11 have lost all their seven wickets in the final session to be bowled out for 58. And we've got a run chase on tomorrow morning. So in an amazing final session here on day two, Matt's 11 have bowled Brennan's 11 out for 58, taking all their second innings wickets in this final session to set up a thrilling run chase tomorrow morning. Matt's 11 will start tomorrow's play needing 66 for victory. They've struggled to chase totals throughout the series, but if they can get this one right, they will retain the trophy. It's all set up for a big day's cricket tomorrow. We'll see you then.